Oscar from Mexico City, Mexico, Mexico. He writes to me, he says, I've decided to move beyond my basic streamer DAC combo and invest in a proper high-end DAC. Good work, sir. The question is, what should I actually be paying attention to when choosing one? There are so many specs and buzzwords, R2R, Delta Sigma, jitter reduction, filters, reclocking. It's overwhelming. Tell me about it. <laughs> I just want something that sounds great and brings me closer to the music. How do I separate the marketing from what really matters? What makes a DAC musical? Well, I hate to tell you, Oscar, but it all matters. And gosh, well, here's our DAC, right? We're standing, I know, this whole room is filled with PMG signature DACs because uh, getting a new product out the door, doggone it, it's the hardest thing ever. There's a small niggling problem with the streamer, and it's in an exotic sample rate, and the engineers are struggling like they're all built. Fix it! But anyway, we'll get it fixed, and we'll start shipping them. So, and this is an expensive DAC. There's no question about it. Probably... I would guess one of the best in the world. And, well, I know it is one of the best in the world. And it, it's not cheap. But you want to look for a DAC from a manufacturer that you trust. Okay? We white, I hope, we're one. The guys over at Shit Audio in California, they make low-cost products. That sound really, really good. I, I've always liked Jason uh, and um, uh, 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 Mike, Mike, Mike Moffat. And they do really good work. But, and there are a number of companies. There's, gosh, what else sounds good out there? There's a number of DACs that are very, very musical today. I think, in general, you'd be hard-pressed to find one that doesn't sound really quite good. So, a DAC is super important. Pick one from a manufacturer that is high-end audio. Stay away from the more commercial guys that, that don't really... Because, look, as Bill Lowe from AudioQuest proved, in a fairly decent-sounding DAC, you can put it onto a USB stick, for goodness sakes. Or you can spend all your years and years learning how to put all of this together and come up with the technology that just sounds extraordinary. DACs, there's a DAC inside of your cell phone. I mean, DACs are everywhere. So take your time, find one from a manufacturer that sounds great, and make sure that it at least talks about reclocking and low jitter somewhere in the description and most important of all, the output stage, okay? DAC technology today, whether it's like we do here where it's a all custom built, or just an ESS chip or a TI chip, you know, there's tons of chip DACs out there that are excellent. It's the output stage. The chips that run DACs, they're all very good. The output stage determines how it's going to sound. So does it just have an op amp? Somebody just threw a chip op amp in there? Worry about it. Discrete, analog, what do they do? What do they talk about? What's important to them? That's how you find a good DAC. Okay, good luck and welcome to the club.